good everyone and welcome back to Napoleon Total War 3. We're back here to have the battle in Finland go down. And uh, most of my army is consistent of, well, line infantry, young guard and heavy cavalry. Some uh, voltageers. Swedish army. It's got a lot of militia. Then a lot of Finnish troops because we're in Finland. Um, two light cavalries. And then some light infantry, including two Jaeger companies, three Jaeger companies, a first special one, a Finnish one, and then two un normal ones, and three extra Swedish regiments, and then mounted Jaegers, and then to match these up, a load of militia, and another Jaegers, and the Orne Tompelius is in charge of the army. We all know that good old Ornetopelius. But yeah, let's go ahead and fight this battle. The uh, Orbo, <laughs> Orbo landings in 1808. It's, it's going to be a D-Day landing as the young guard try to make it up and the Swedes are putting down fire along the beaches. Oh, it's snowing a bit in this one. Um, let's see. How are we going to conduct th this battle? We've got the Swedish all across here. As I recall, the small Swedish force we fought before. Um, the Swedes are quite a dangerous bunch. What I'm going to do, instead of, as I usually do, and put the artillery in center, I'm going to put my artillery on the flanks on either side then I'm gonna have my um, which I was the young guard is actually more numerous and they're probably better at holding the front line so the young guard will be holding the front line then the line infantry regiments will spread out on either side and in the forest We'll have the skirmishers to march up and start shooting at the enemy skirmishers, hopefully. Same on this side. And then heavy cavalry on either side. In general, watching from this hill in the center. And boom, there we have it. Since there's more Swedish, there's going to be more Swedish coming in. We're going to have to play defensive. And so for most part I'll hold I'll just hold the line against the Swedes. Also as you can see there's quite a lot of them. Here's tons of them. A lot of these Finnish troops. Got another Finnish one over here. A l most of these are Finnish. Let's but I'm going to really finish them. The dooms. Okay, they're charging in. Canister. I got a very thick formation here, ready to hold off the enemy. Give a good fire on these and throw them away. The enemy is going to put most of their might down here. It's going to counter charge, but it seems like that's uh, in vain. The skirmishers, however, will fall back. And these men will form square. You guys need to get back on your guns. The skirmishers will come around here. The Swedes charge in. The Swedish Hussars have struck. Get back on your guns and open fire. I want the light infantry now on the side and the heavy cavalry ready over there. Come on, hold the guns, damn you. Do not engage. Ooh, boom. Oh, nasty. But once more, you know what? We're going to have to counter charge. Get the cannon crew 
the cannon crew is gonna be important that they stay alive. Charge, cavalry, charge. There's a massive Swedish charge going down here. Switch to canister and open fire. Get these two lines. Oh no, crap. We were unable to um, get the, char the, the charges off by the guns. All along the line, melee has ensued against the Swedes. A glorious victory, sir. We're seeing their cavalry off. But it looks like the Jaeger company is really tearing into our lines. We need our skirmishers to get up there and start dealing with them. Ah, oh, crap, more cavalry has turned up. And is thrown in. The general needs to come over here to make sure the line holds. The heavy cavalry is fighting. Inspire the men. The line is holding all along the line, it seems. Heavy cavalry here needs to move up. To come through the cannons. Where do I have my cannon crew? Ah, damn it, they're running away. Oh, these two are charging after the men. Swedish general comes straight through. Oh, there's such a mess going on here. All this, look at all the Swedes. The Swedes have a very strange tactic and uh, and my men, because they're all guardsmen, oh crap, stay away from my bloody guns you bastards. Because they're guardsmen, they uh, don't start with the toggle on guard mode, because the guards figure they wouldn't guard anything. Um, cavalry, charge out. And get rid of those men. And the rest of my lines need to get back in line. Blasted Swedish general. Kore or Tore or Torelius or whatever your name was. My general will charge your general. Leave my guns alone. General's bodyguard is fighting each other. Unfortunately, the enemy was able to uh, see off my cannons. Which is much unfortunate. Get the heavy cavalry to get rid of all those Swedes. God, they they focused in on my guns and sent them off. Get rid of those guys. Thing is, I won't be able to reinforce my army here so will it's gonna be an interesting fight here fighting against these and especially fighting the next one where we'll try to take Orbo from the Swedes so it's vitally important that we make sure And the Swedish lines do not come back to uh, fight us again. Boom, that was sent off. Skirmishes move up. We got something in the forest there. Hold the line. Skirmishes are moving up over here. Did they? Yeah, they did manage to form a little square. But I... Yeah, once I remove the cavalry and let the skirmishers fire into that, should be done for. This cavalry unit can go over there. The Swedish square is firing. But they're about to be utterly slaughtered by the uh, the light infantry, and they fall away. Swedish reinforcements are turning up. Is the militias and such? I want all my men now to march towards that location.
It's a sad day that our cannons are not here to see the glory of our victory. The Swedish soldiers all over the place. The Swedish were very quick and they went immediately for uh, charge. But you can see what it cost them. But it cost us a lot of men as well. But looking at the ground here, you can see a lot more Swedes than there are French. If I had managed to get canister off with these guns, we would have seen a lot more Swedes lying dead on this side. Probably on this side as well if I'd gone if I'd known the Swedes were gonna charge directly off the start. Now they did that the last well they didn't really. They did and they didn't. We've got Finnish light infantry moving up. And then we've got a lot of militia regiments just turning up to fight with us. Skirmishers are ready to take them on. Let's get this skirmisher unit in there as well. And then the two cavalry units will be stationed there. Um, young guards come in there. The um, normal line over there. General on the flank. Oh. Tornelius is back, or yeah, he should be. He's, but I'm not. Yeah, I guess he's the one with the feather in his hat. The bastard has come to cross swords with me again. Idiot rides straight into you know, our line. He rides in and then he flanks my uh, skirmishers. And there's no nothing for it for a good old general to general firefight. Or a uh, sword fight, I mean. And the clashing swords, you can see the, the Marshal of France right there. And we've got the Swedish general right there. Oh, they're almost classic clashing swords. There's our guy. There's there. French general is actually surrounded by Swedes. That looked like he killed his friend. The Swedish bodyguard held on surprisingly well, even though oh, it might Our be. Running, hold your fire! Hold your fire! Hold your fire! You're shooting at your own general, you idiots. That is that may be why. Oh, the general came back. good but he needs to stay out of the fighting it was um, maybe not so smart to go in m melee against the Swedes apparently I imagine I guess they're uh, go very good at, um, at melee fighting then. we got good volleys coming in here from the young guard oh I don't think we have actually taken a closer look at the young guard in action because we uh, after all the battle on Ireland a lot of the Swedes are ready to break I'll take these two and march like this and then these guys will fall back and that will open up for the heavy cavalry to move straight through run get out of the way okay form square to save yourself the heavy cavalry smashes into the Swedish line. It's militia. And the militia is not happy about being charged. Right, some of some guys was killed in this regiment due to the fact that the uh, cavalry regiments charged through them. So we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, it's maybe some Swedes there. Hey, is that an officer? He's got a medal on his chest, so yeah, that's the officer. He was trampled by the charging horseman. The 
Turn up on the Swedes and fire into the flank. We need to kill as many as possible here. To make sure that once we attack the city, there's not a lot of them left. Right, we don't need to continue chasing that one. Instead, we'll turn off and chase this one. We can probably break that one. This one is already breaking. Which means we can turn up this line. And this one as well. Have the 176 charge up this and then the other one go after this. Continue on the march. The young guard fight bravely in the field of battle. Looks like a lot of the uh, Swedish regiments are falling back. There's nothing left of them. Form into lines and then you three will go on the edge there. Get rid of them. get rid of all of these oh it's only one it's the Swedish general left and this militia regiment get into the forest and open fire upon them and these two will turn and you will form square probably opening fire up on our own men is in this point Get the cavalry on this side then. We probably got quite a lot of Swedes already. Once this one opens fire, I think you know what this can go these guys can go quite close to the Swedish line. Before they open fire. Volkjers open up in the flank and the Swedish line retreats. They are gone. And victory is ours after heavy fighting. Close victory. Let's see what kind of um, score we get. The enemy. Oh, no, lost 5,000 men. We lost 1,000, so a third of our force died. 2,000 men remaining. 2,000 men remaining on the enemy side. And they still have a one reserve to fight on after this. Spain just moving the men around as per usual. Not doing anything useful. We've got a raid by the Russians. Units recruited on Corsica and uh, some Voltigeers. A lot of the mines were constructed. Um, what's it called? Juno is ready to come back. And uh, Lan is fully replenished so he can lead the attack and he can destroy that. And we should probably drag in Murat to do that as well. Over here. We can have these three armies just gang up on the this guy and kill him off. And then I want to see if I can go ahead and take Novgorod since I couldn't take St. Petersburg. But we're going to go ahead and save first. And then... Ah, that, that was successful. So at least they've found a spot where they can replenish. Can I go? I have. Oh, I have to go. Well, I, what I can do is I can 
infiltrate the army maybe? Yes. Fyodor Fyodorovsky Buxhaven. And Count von Buxenhoven. He seems to be a special general for Russians. Haha! I tricked. I moved through the army. And now we move on to Moscow. Kremlin armory and Minin monument. Replenishment. Happiness. And the recruitment of special units. What does this give? Oh, more heavy cavalry. Oh, we don't like that. Uh, we don't need this university, so instead I want a supply warehouse to be built there. And this would probably benefit from having a military building instead, but to change that around would take 8 turns. Um, continuing on the attack would be the, the move to make then. This army is uh, almost destroyed. It's going to get a lot of militia support there, but we're not too worried about that. What? Um, cannons. Yes, the cannons are needed to come up because the Belgian army lost its cannons. We don't have any other troop that is needing to replenish. No, all the Belgians are ready. The Corsicans, however, needs to be moved off the island. And then instead, we don't actually need anything on the island. Oh, this place has... Um, ah, it's because I don't have... I uh, Ordnance board, I don't have... I do have one. No, I have an engineer school. Why can I not build a load of cannons there? Why can I build Marseille? Did they have... Is that like a thing that they had the... Um, like they made all the cannons down in Marseille? We can build a load of eight pound, eight pound of batteries, eight of them. Um, Hovitzers, we don't want them. Six pounders, horse drawn, not so useful either. Six pounder of these, we don't like them either. Interesting. There's a special down there that we can get. Uh, oh, yes, navy. Well, we recruited, didn't we recruit a navy ship? Yes, yeah, so it will go up and join this fleet. And then... I don't think we're going to do another battle, so it's just about moving some stuff around and preparing for the next battle. Next battle would be probably trying to destroy this one once and for all. Getting rid of that should hopefully go easy and getting rid of this getting rid of this so I can move through towards Kiev and con conquering this area Russia probably has very little going for itself right now given we've cap what we have captured if you're looking on the map here Russia has one two three four five six seven seven provinces left which isn't a lot. We have taken one, two, three, four, five provinces of them. And more is about to fall since a lot of their army is just being crushed. Um, yes, I have tons of money. So I should be able to probably recruit another army to put together here could be used for maybe an invasion of some of these states that are trading with England um, or an invasion of England itself but uh, that's gonna have to wait quite a while given how many troops the English have all over here they don't protect Wales Edinburgh they protect though and they they're really anxious to get across and to tear the Irish apart and the Irish unfortunately has an army of militiamen but yes I think we're gonna go ahead and end it right there so hopefully you guys enjoy this and hopefully we'll see you guys for the next one I